Hey guys, how's it going? So I'll list you geometric construction. Okay, so you just do an overview. This is your this is your ruler. Obviously, it's uh, it's just 15 centimeters or 150 millimeters. This one here, it's called uh, a protractor. Okay, you use it to measure angles. Uh, I advise you to only measure angles with this one, but you actually don't need to construct any angles. You just use it to to measure and verify. And then these ones, they're called uh, your set squares. So uh, you don't use them for anything really. You just use them to verify right angles. Okay. So that's uh, probably it. This this one is the most important tool that you ever use. It's called uh, a, a compass. Okay. So this one will be using it a lot. So uh, the rest of the of the stuff you'll be learning as, as we'll be uh, doing the question okay so the question tells us that a b c d is a trapezium in which a b equals to 6.5 centimeters a d equals to 5.2 centimeters and a b c angle a b c is equal to 120. you're told also told that a d is perpendicular to a b d c is parallel to a b okay so the two parallel lines for your uh, trapezium you're told you are told to calculate the, the to construct the, the trapezium okay so first draw the sketch for the for the trapezium so you're told that a you can take a b as uh, your baseline okay so uh, let's say this one is a this one is b okay so it's just a sketch and you're told that a b is equal to 6.5 centimeters like this and uh, you're told that a b c is an angle so a b going to c it's an angle it's equal to 120 degrees okay so this one here it's equal to 120 degrees so 120 degrees here the way that you prepare yourself for construction is that it's actually a combination of of two angles 90 and uh, this one would be 90 and then this one would be would be 30 okay and if this one is 30 remember this one would be 60 so the uh, angle combination 30 60 it's kind of similar okay so the way that you construct 30 degrees and 60 degrees uh, they're kind of similar since this this two they're complementary it just depends on what side you'll be you'll be putting uh, that on okay so this is it and um, you're also told that ad so this one is leading to to c so let's say this one is point c and you're also told that ad is perpendicular to so a d so ad let's pretend that d is here okay so ad we also told that uh, ad equal to 5.2 so it's equal to 5.2 here centimeters okay and uh these two dc they're parallel dc and ab they're parallel okay so it's like it's like this so this one is your your sketch uh, after you draw your sketch now you actually have to do the, the you have to do the actual construction uh, determine what's what's your baseline so we're starting with our baseline here so what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, draw a line which is greater than 60 centimeters okay but i'm going to redraw right now i'm going to actually use the, the same so that's it and uh so you, you're told that um it must be it must be uh six point six point five uh centimeters okay so we're going to um just mark any any random so here i'm going to mark this one as my a okay so after i mark this one is my a i actually have to to measure 6.5 centimeters okay so the way that you do it is uh it's it's a bit tricky for me because i i actually have to show you okay so you'll be able to see so the the angle that i'm using it's it's a bit weird but essentially i use the age okay because the age you never go wrong with this so this is exactly 65 millimeters or 6.5 centimeters okay so after doing this i come here then i scribe another arc here okay so i now have my points this one is a this one is b so uh here i can draw this this perpendicular bisector okay ad so ad is a perpendicular bisector i can draw it so just just uh just a, a, a quick note here i could have extended this line so that i would have uh, so much room for me to actually bisect the, the angle but then it's okay it's still fine i can when you're bisecting you want to scribe an arc on one side like this and you want to scribe an arc on that other side like this okay so you have scribed uh two arcs here then you extend your your your, your compass and uh what you want to do is to go on where the arc intersects with the line 
and then scribe one arc and then you go on the opposite side you scribe another arc then you go again then you scribe another arc you see there is an intersection there so well, what what were well, the advantage of doing this instead of just doing uh for for one side going that way is that you have three points now that you have to align and if you did anything uh wrongly then you'd actually see because it would be evident you know the, the points that won't align all three of them so here what i do is i actually try to put my pencil here and then see whether it actually goes exactly on the intersection where i want it so it goes exactly on the intersection where i want it so i just do like this okay so after this now you have to uh, measure 5.2 uh, centimeters okay so 52 millimeters okay let's actually use the the centimeter uh, gradation here so you have to measure 5.2 so here i'm on i'm on here and i want to measure 5.2 so i have to extend i'm trying to show you this so that's why the way that i'm doing it is is a bit weird okay so essentially this is 5.5.2 okay so what i do is i go on the on the line and then i scribe an arc okay so that intersection there that's my that's my d point okay so that's my d and this one is 5.2 centimeters okay if you want you can even uh, write 5.2 centimeters here but then it's uh it's kind of redundant but then let's just write okay so 5.2 centimeters here that's it the other thing that you have to note here is that you have to uh, ascribe uh, this angle here so this angle here it's uh, it's 60 from the outside okay so it's 60 from the outside how do you do that you go on this point here you want to make it from the outside so you go on this point here you go on the outside so you actually go on there on the outside scribing an arc like this then don't adjust your your compass you just go in directly and then you scribe another another line here so uh you can join this again i take my pencil i see is it fitting yeah it's fitting here it's not fitting yeah now it's fitting okay so then you extend your line like this so this is uh, where the, the protractor comes in handy so you can actually measure here is it uh, 60 going on the outside so you can see here it's uh it's 60 going on the outside okay so it's 60 going on the outside so we are we are correct okay so this is it and you don't know what that you or what, what, what the um what the measurement of this line is but then what you know is that a dc is parallel to ab okay so it means that uh, going from from here uh, the the line uh, going from d going to c it's also parallel to this so the way that you draw parallel lines is that uh, so you go here you can you can actually go then uh remeasure 5.2 but then it's not necessary since you actually measured it here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm, I'm going to gauge 5.2 here okay so after gauging 5.2 here to draw my parallel line i have to go anywhere on this line then i also measure 5.2 here okay so what that allows me to do is to to join those two here the idea is to join the the tips as if you're just touching the the uh, tangent of those arcs there so the um the trick that that you have to master is to is to draw the the arcs in a way that they're kind of cyclic so that you'll be able to uh, just see them so just measure the the tangent easily just gauge the tangent easily okay so here i'm going to join this and and this so that's it so this one should be my point my point c okay so now you've constructed your, your trapezium it's it's done now so the the first question it said uh, construct the trapezium on the diagram and uh, the second question says construct construct the bisector of a b c so a b and c here like this so the bisector here we say that it's it's a bisector for the for the for the two lines so what you want to do here is to uh, extend 
whatever you want and then you want to scribe an arc then scribe an arc here so you see if i extend to this part here i will disturb my my lines here so i'm actually allowed to extend as much as further possible as uh, as i can okay so here these ones would be my would be my arc okay my arcs so I'll do the same thing that i did extend and uh then you do an arc here okay then you do an arc here so don't adjust your compass just keep it there the same angle you see uh here so i actually gauged it wrongly so i was supposed to do it somewhere here okay It's been long since I did construction. But yeah, it's coming back to me. So here, you can see this intersection here. And uh, here we had already constructed this. So we actually need another one going like this. So uh, here, going like this. Okay, so now we can see the intersection. And also just make sure that the intersection uh they they can join okay don't don't make it too long because you have to use uh this 15 centimeter rule here so you can actually see that i i may have i may have made uh some slight errors just because my lines they're not even aligning but then it's still fine okay so this is this would be the this would be the bisector for the for this angle here okay so this this one here is the bisector uh, usually they actually give you um, something to label the, the bisector okay so they will tell you that maybe the bisector is um e or something like that and then you'd have to uh you know write that but then here they didn't uh, give you anything so it's still fine but then this is essentially the the bisector and then you're asked to describe uh the the locus for the for the for the bisector so b describe the locus for the bisector in this one it's not advisable you actually write it you actually have to write somewhere there because you might need to uh, do some other construction here as well so they, they're asking you to describe the the locus for for the bisector here what does the locus uh, represent it represents points equidistant from lines a b and BC. Okay, so the, this 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 bisector here, it uh, represents points equidistant from equidistant from these lines here. Okay, so BC you asked to measure and write down. So there are two ways to go about it. You can use those ones. They're called uh, the dividers. Okay, so you can use those ones first, and then you go. You see what that measures. But here, okay, so it's it's this much. And then you can go on your ruler and then you can find or you can just directly measure using your ruler so here i'm getting 5.5.8 okay so i'm getting 5.8 so c bc equal to 5.8 centimeters like this okay so that's it that's it for that's it for geometric construction